Here's how I, a single mother, get ready and bake a cake that my kid likes in an hour with minimal ingredients. I use Kodiak Power Cake, which is pancake mix. Any pancake mix will do. Old fashioned oats, egg whites or eggs, frozen berries, vanilla, lemon flavor, and coconut oil. Amazon links are down below. Start by preheating your oven to 350. While it's preheating, you should be able to prepare the cake and put it in the oven by the time it's done preheating. So rinse your berries, add your egg whites. I use a Pyrex cup measuring. You can pretty much use a coffee cup, anything you have, as long as it's the same measurement for all your ingredients. So I do one cup of egg whites. I pour them in the berries. I use a fork and beat them. And so I'm smushing the berries as I go. Cause you wanna kinda make it, you know, berry-ish. <laughs> So you want to keep mixing and smooshing until it's kind of frothy, like the way uh, the way abuelitas bat eggs to make chile relleno. So I pull stuff out as I go. Next, you'll want to add your lemon, and it's very specific amount. Boop. Yep, that was it. Just a boop amount. And same with your vanilla, just a little boop, dash, and you're golden. Then you get your pancake mix, set it to the side, and grab your whatever you're going to bake in. I spread coconut oil all over it um, with my fingers, <laughs> and then I dust it with the pancake mix and later with the oats. I'm a firm believer in there are no rules to baking and you can kind of make shit up as you go along. So that's how I do it. And I do this before I add in the pancake mix to the batter so that when it falls off, it falls into the batter. So there's no excess. And if you're doing a cut or counting calories or something like that, You'll know exactly how much is going in because the access is around your uh, baking reservoir. And then you just mix it up some more and mix, mix, mix. You want to mix it until it's all mixed in. <laughs> I then grab my oats. And again, a cup of oats. So that makes it a cup of oats, a cup of pancake mix, a cup of egg whites, and a cup of berries. And a boop of lemon and vanilla. So I sprinkle the oats on the pan before I pour the oats into the batter. That way I know how much is in. Again, mix her up and just keep mixing until it's all mixed in. If you're like me and you think it's not thick enough, you can always add a little dash of more oats. <laughs> and continue to mix. So this looks good to me. Then go ahead and pour the batter in the pan or baking reservoir, whatever you're using. You can use a muffin pan too. Then just spread it out around the pan so that it's evenly dispersed. I like to wash and rinse, rather, as I go. Uh, this saves time to cleaning up the mess later. 
By this time, your oven should be preheated and it's time to stick her in. I put it on the top rack and set the timer for 40 minutes. And then I clean up a little bit as I consider this part of getting ready. Plus I have a Zoom interview which is why I need to get ready and make breakfast in less than an hour. And I need this little area to be clean because it's where I decided to do my interview today. And then I start getting ready. I am not good at this girly shit, so. It probably takes me longer than it should. <laughs> I figured I would add it in, so for authenticity. So also, it's absolutely possible probably to do this faster, aside from the actual 40 minutes of the cake baking. But um, just imagine, I actually did all of this B-roll as I actually got ready for my interview and <laughs> made this video. And this is my son's room, by the way. We share a closet. Maybe after seeing this video, he'll decide he wants to clean his room. So this is me brushing my hair again. <laughs> Just so one can see all that you can actually do in 40 minutes while your cake is baking. I still have 22 minutes to go. Better brush my hair again. <laughs> so I'm using this cool, um, called it's called a ponio bun thingy. It looks difficult, but that's just me making it look difficult. It's actually pretty sweet. Link down below. And finally, I think I got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. 11 minutes on the clock and I am ready. With enough time for selfies. <laughs> After 40 minutes, she should be done. It's a pretty thin cake. Uh, I take it out carefully. I find that poking it to see if it's squishy is quite satisfying. But if you actually want to know if it's done, just stick a knife in it or a toothpick and if it comes out clean, it's done. And even though I tried my best to get it not to stick to the edges, I still have to loosen her up a little bit to get it out. Then it should come out pretty easy actually. Then I slide it out of the pan onto a plate to let it cool. I like to squish it again to see if it's nice and fluffy. And that's how you make breakfast and get ready. In one hour. I let it cool for 10 minutes while I get my toppings ready. I like peanut butter and natural maple syrup, but I like that on everything. You can put cinnamon sugar, yogurt and honey or honey by itself. You can put anything you want. There's no rules. I do suggest waiting though, because uh, if you try and eat it before it's cooled off for a few minutes, it's not as enjoyable because it burns your mouth. So you can pretty much uh, get ready and make your cake in about an hour and 20 minutes total. 
I wouldn't really recommend rushing through your morning more than that because you kind of have time for yourself and your family. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you would consider subscribing, that would be fabulous. Likes, dislikes, and comments are also greatly appreciated. Have a great day.